Are we doing it? We're doing it. All right, welcome to the warm up along with uh, Jim, Kevin here. Our show is heard here on, uh, I was about to say, <laughs> stop the tape. Three, two, one. Welcome to the warm up along with a go to guy, Kevin Calabro here. Heard three to six on 710 ESPN Seattle, the home of the Seattle Redhawks who take on the Washington Huskies tonight. Is this going to be a bloodbath tonight? Is this going to be another embarrassing I hope not. outing? We've got Cameron Dollar. We, we've got Cameron Dollar, the Seattle U coach, on at five ten. And one of the questions, I, I, he's not going to foul everybody in sight, is he? No, man. Slow it down. It's a thirty-five second shot clock. Use twenty on the clock, and then go into your fifteen second mode. Run your offense. Keep the score low. Try to control the basketball. What's with all this fouling stuff? Okay, quick. Name, I understand name you were Seattle. Down to 40. I'm gonna put you on the spot on the warm up. You ready? Name name one Seattle U player. Uh, Burrell, Broussard, uh, Fat Lieber's kid is a real nice player. They got this uh, kid from the junior college down in Arizona. Is a Jones six eight kid. Wow. He wasn't even supposed to play college ball, let alone JUCO, and play in Seattle U. I read all the Times articles today. I thought they really played this game up as if this was a game between you know two teams that are headed into the Pac-10 You'd, or into the postseason. You'd think so anyway, but. Obviously, Seattle U is a long way from there, but a real good story, I thought, on their future. They're going to be eligible for the NCAA in the 2012-13 season. Uh, they are looking right now at joining the WAC, which would be huge for them. That would be fun. I uh, think there would be more interest. Absolutely. Once you get in a conference, everybody can follow how they're doing in the yeah. conference standings. and. Uh no, I think Cameron Dahl, yeah, it's just hard to get a program started from scratch, isn't it? I think so. And uh, and tonight's game shouldn't be as bad as last year's. It's at Key Arena. Yeah. The Huskies aren't going to be fired up in the least. The other thing about joining the WAC and, and knowing that you're going to make it in a postseason is, as he will probably tell us, we'll ask him, it's got to be a darn sight easier to recruit kids when you can say, we're eligible for a postseason berth. And uh, by the way, we are eligible if we win a tournament, a, a conference tournament, to get into the into the postseason. And it's going to help our RPI, it's going to give us some recognition, we're going to be on national TV. All of that plays into recruiting. And as good a recruiter as Cameron Dollar is, and I think that's why he was he hired at Seattle University, this is only going to help. So That's too bad they don't have Garcia tonight. That'd be a lot more interesting game yeah. if that kid had stayed around. Playing in Mexico somewhere. I didn't know they even played pro basketball in Mexico. I thought it was all baseball and football. But see, so what? This is year three of this uh, re rekindled rivalry. Year now? three of the the Red Hawks. That's year two. No, it's just three, isn't it? I thought uh, it was two. It's two. Oh, it's two. It only seems like three. Okay, so the year before they play, they have they played both of them at Heckhead. Uh, Heckhead last year. Well, Heckhead was the first one. Yeah. Are they didn't play at the Connolly Center in year one? No. Uh oh, I thought I read no, that sorry. somewhere, but geez, what are you snickering <laughs> about, Brady? Have we screwed up something else again? Well, it's good we screw up here because we won't screw up when we get on the air from 3 to 6. Join us here on 710 ESPN Seattle.